And I, when I was my, a PhD student, I was just constantly writing things down on Evernote and like, you know, ideas I had. And most of them were the dumbest ideas ever and they never went anywhere. And I saw the Evernote note to myself, which was that I, you know, found out, I forget even where I heard about it, Google Trends. And right away I said, I bet you people make inappropriate searches into this and that's what's going to be interesting in this data set so like it was very it was conscious that the area to focus on was like the areas that otherwise are hard to research because uh so if you think of google like why google trends is so powerful so i'm an economist we're obsessed with incentives and google gives you an incentive to get the information you need and Pornhub similarly gives you an incentive to get the information you need. So even an anonymous uh, survey, like there's no incentive for you to tell the truth. So what do I get? Gallup calls me up and said, did you vote in the last election? What do I get by saying the truth? Or Gallup calls me up and let's say, you know, hypothetically, I was, was gay and was embarrassed that I was gay. And Gallup calls me up and says, are you gay? What do I get by telling Gallup yes to that? Nothing, right? But if I search, let's say, how to vote, where to vote before voting an election, I get the information I needed on how to vote. And those actually predict turnout uh, very well. Search like how to vote, where to vote. 